Hi guys! Welcome to Dental.Beyond 101. I am Dr. Mika and today we shall be talking about how to make your teeth appear whiter without having to bleach them or even go to a dentist. We're going to be using the lipsticks you have at home to help you achieve a pearly white gorgeous smile. But first, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time we post a new video. Now I know in today's day and age with all that's happening with masks and COVID, not everybody is still using lipsticks or even wants to use lipsticks. In fact, I totally skip this step every time I step out because I'm always wearing a mask. I don't have my lipstick to show to anybody. So I totally skip it. According to me, it's a total waste of product. Now this is coming from a very avid user of lipsticks. They're so precious to me. I've had this obsession with lipsticks ever since I was a toddler. I used to watch my mom get ready for work, do her hair, wear matching beautiful earrings and then for the finale she'd always take her lipstick and swirl it on her lips and that sight would make me so happy. And so one day I think my mom had already left for work and my dad was getting ready to leave and so I was by my mom's dresser and I was putting on lipstick but I got it all over my face and then my dad walks in and he sees my face completely covered in red and pink marks and he starts panicking because I was right by the dresser so he's thinking oh my god there was glass or there's a mirror that's shattered and I've lacerated my whole face with it so he starts panicking he rushes to me and he picks me up and he slowly examining like what's going on and he sees blood all over but then he starts touching me and he realizes that these stains actually rub off and it's not blood but it's actually lipstick and so there's a sigh of relief but every time he narrates the story to me it's so funny but I know that his heart was in his mouth that day so now that's how long I've been obsessed with lipsticks and of course thanks to COVID and us masking all the time we don't get the opportunity to wear it enough and that makes me sad but once in a while I'd like to dress up, put on some makeup, put on my favorite lipstick and then take some selfies, record a YouTube video or attend that one Zoom call where you are always required to switch on that camera, attend interviews or webinars. So we still do require lipsticks, they're not completely eliminated from a makeup routine. And wearing the correct lip color can enhance and brighten your smile. So keep watching to see how it's done. Now I'm not saying this is a substitute for teeth whitening or dental cleaning, but it's definitely very safe and easy and a quick two minute hack you can do at home to brighten your smile. It's definitely much better than using a charcoal toothpaste or baking soda. Stay away from those. Now before we get into what lipsticks are good for you, let's quickly look at how teeth get stained. So consuming foods or beverages with a lot of color pigments such as tea, coffee, red wine, soy sauce, turmeric containing food items like curries or turmeric latte nowadays, or even smoking, chewing pan, gutka, all these contribute to staining of teeth. Now even taking multivitamins like iron, if you're having an iron tablet, if you keep it too long in your mouth, they actually tend to give out this red color which can stain your teeth. Even vitamin C tablets are notorious to cause teeth staining because they're huge and you put them in water and then they dissolve and then you have this orange water because they're so rich in that orange food color. So when you drink it, it's going to stain your teeth over time. And often we have multivitamins almost on a daily basis. So gradually you will see a little staining of teeth. Even consuming herbal drinks containing amla or tamarind or kokum and all that stuff, anything that's brown, you want to stay away from it because that will definitely contribute to staining of teeth. So the best way to consume any of these foods that are rich in color pigments is to either take it with a straw or a spoon so that you're putting it at the back of your mouth and not contacting it with the teeth or rinsing your mouth directly after or even brushing it so that the contact time between the color pigment and your tooth surface is kept to the 
the minimum. Now another reason why you may find your teeth to be duller or even brighter than your neighbors is genetic. This depends on the enamel thickness. Now enamel is the outermost layer of the tooth and it's translucent. So the tooth's color actually comes from the inner dentin, which could be gray, white, yellow, cream. So now depending on the thickness of the enamel, the underlying dentin's color would come through. So if your enamel is very thin, it may appear more yellow because of the underlying dentin. But if your enamel is much thicker, it kind of blocks off the underlying dentin's color and your teeth appear more white. Now the third reason is age. Now with increasing age, the teeth also tend to become increasingly yellow. This is because over time, calcium salts start to deposit from within the tooth and give out this yellow color. So if your teeth aren't as white or bright as they were when you were 20, it's probably because of all this calcium that's depositing in your tooth and making them stronger. So even though it's not as white as it was, it's definitely stronger and immune to a lot more caries. So how this whole lipstick concept works is by creating an illusion. Your teeth appear whiter and brighter because of the optical illusion the lipstick shade creates on them. Just like how the color of clothes you wear has an impact on your complexion. For example, if you tend to wear a lot of neon or white clothes, you tend to look more tanned. Or let's talk about makeup. Having clown makeup, which is so white, tends to make your teeth look much yellow. So again, this is all optical illusion. Remember this, it's the color wheel. You want to pick complementary colors that are on the opposite side of the color wheel to provide a high contrast and high impact color combination. And together, these colors look more brighter and more prominent. You want to avoid colors that are analogous or adjacent to each other. For the same reason, avoid lipsticks with pink or yellow undertones. You want to avoid frosty, shimmery, high gloss looking lipsticks because what they do is they make the fine lines around your mouth more prominent. They definitely make your lips look whiter, but not your teeth. Your teeth will look duller. Another one to avoid would be neon lipsticks. Just like how they make your complexion look more tanned, they also make your teeth look more brown or yellow. Another no-no would be brown lipsticks. Stay clear from them because brown lipsticks will definitely cause your teeth to look more brown or yellow. And another one to avoid would be matte lipsticks. Now matte lipsticks have a very dry finish and they don't leave enough light to bounce off your teeth and make your teeth look lustreless or without a shine. Now blue or purple tones will make your teeth look whiter. Again, this is because of the color wheel. Blue and purple sit opposite to yellow and orange and therefore they cancel out each other because they're complementary colors. So in short, if you wear a lipstick with blue or purple undertones, it'll make the yellow stains on your teeth less noticeable. Now when I say blue tones, it doesn't mean you go ahead and invest in a blue lipstick. Unless that's your style, then you can totally go ahead and rock it. But what I mean is having a lipstick with a blue or a purple undertone. Think of dark cherries, think of dark apples, think of fuchsias. That's the color we're trying to go for. Now since blue and purple are on the cooler side of the spectrum, try to choose lipsticks with a cool undertone. To spot the colors, just hold the lipstick up to the light and the tones will pop out at you. Or you can even ask a makeup artist. Great lipstick colors to choose from would be deep reds. Now deep reds have a cooler undertone, snatching away the dullness from your teeth. A bright red on the other hand is actually on the warmer side and will cause yellowing. Dark pinks. Again, they have a beautiful blue violet undertone that will complement your bright smile. Purple. You don't have to think of the undertone in this one, you can go straight for the color. Now if you prefer wearing lighter lipsticks, you can go for a soft pink, but with a berry hue. Another great choice would be choosing plum or berry color lipsticks.
Now, since I said avoid high gloss or matte lipsticks, choosing products with a creamy consistency or a hint of gloss would be wise. So as long as the undertones aren't on the warm side, you don't have to worry about a shade sabotaging your smile. And the best hack of them all would be to brush your teeth before you put on your lipstick. Preferably use a whitening toothpaste, but you could use any. Just remember, brush your teeth thoroughly before you wear your lipstick and your teeth will look visibly whiter. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Comment down below on what videos you'd like to see next because I'm reading. Until next time, bye!